To all concerned, this section took a long time to record, so it will probably be cut up into multiple episodes. Enjoy. All right, so now that we've gotten the what's going on in the world of Gleba covered, let's do things in the world of Gleba. And I'm kind of thinking what I'd like to do is we're going to go possibly hunt down some um, pentapods. And I want to get some eggs so I can produce more bio chambers. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to start to scale our stuff up a little bit. And maybe even look at making rockets. That would be nice. Okay, so in order to do this, we would need landfill. Landfill's being made. Red chips we got, or green chips we got. Um, nutrients, clearly we've got. We're keeping them pretty well recycled, and there's enough spoilage that's keeping the power going so, for somehow. I, I swear, somehow it's self-sufficient, despite my best efforts to screw things up. So... Everything seems to be going okay. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's do a quick walk around the perimeter, as my own uh, battalion commander used to say. Let's do a perimeter walk. All right. Um, so right now, Fulgora is on pause, basically. It's still in a good place. The only thing that's jammed up right now is the Holmium Ore. And the only reason the Holmium Ore is jammed up is because... Um, we're just not using it. We're making science. We've got tons of science. We're just not sending it up. You know what I mean? I'm not using it and we're not sending it up. So we're so it's good. I mean, if the only holdup is the fact that the thing that produces science that we're not using is the thing holding it up, then I'm okay with that. Let's go to Volcanus. Okay, what's going on here? Um Yep, pumpkin spice science doing well. We got plenty. The rockets are waiting there. Rockets are not loaded. They're not loaded. Okay. Why were they not loaded? You know what? That's okay. Let's do that. Let's make sure these rockets are loaded. So when we're when they're needed, we can call on them. Okay. What do we got? Um, these things. Yeah, our tungsten ore. Very, very good. Plenty of it. Uh, actually, let's look at the uh, Volcanus map. Um, no great change. Okay, I, I really seriously have not looked at this in a while. Um, yeah, I suppose one thing we could do is turn the trains off. Like, what we, what we could do is... Well, no, even then, it's going back and forth between these two stations. It would still go back and forth. So that doesn't really help us. All right. Uh, so novice, let's take a look around novice. One thing I never showed you guys. Maybe I did. I don't think I did. We had talked about how Coverex enrichment would one day eat up all of our, um, all of our uranium two thirty eight. Look at it. Both fields of uranium two thirty eight storage are empty. And look at some of, you know, look at what we've got in some of these, you know, crates. We've got 2,700, 3,900. We've got so much uranium-235, which the, uh, as Board Bob calls it, the really spicy rocks. We've got so much of it. We've, we, we've done what we wanted to do. We've gotten rid of our depleted uranium and enriched it, and it's ready to be used for more fuel if we want. But... If we go down to the nuke plant, nuke plant's nuking along, and it's just great, but, I mean, there's just not... And, and the waste, the waste is being taken care of, so we're good. Um, and the only thing, it's a little bit of a sticking point, which I think we're going to have to revisit, I'm going to have to come back to novice, is that our copper is really... This is the copper that's handling the core functions of our um, of our bootstrap base, which we're still kind of using. A lot of, the bootstrap base is still doing quite a bit. So this I'm going to have to address. But you know what? There is a coal patch right nearby, right here, that we can just kind of bring things up. I did the same here because I didn't have a 
what you call it. They don't have a radar next to it, but the iron on the bootstrap area is completely gone. All this used to be an iron patch is basically gone. So I've set up a belt, a quad belt to just take care of moving that up. So that's something to be in mind. There's a belt balancer there. But otherwise, I mean, oils, oils are good. Um, we're doing well. So let's go back to, to Gleba if we can. And uh, so I'm thinking we're gonna go collect enough materials to make some um, some more bio chambers so we can kind of scale everything up. But in order to do that, we need pentapod eggs. And in order to do pentapod eggs, we need, um, we need to kill some pentapods. And I'm gonna have to count on my lasers to do it for now. Uh, my personal lasers, I could put more in there. What does the, what does my grid look like now? Um, I could forego the shields and maybe one of the personal robo ports, but, eh, I'm thinking, you know what? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. We'll, let's do two more lasers. Okay. And then what I'll do is pull just for just for combat let's uh let's pull the robo ports out i'm not gonna worry about that one laser and two lasers okay so i mean that brings us to a total of nine personal lasers so yeah speed up the death of these big pentapod buddies our little five-legged friends I just say that because looking at this spore cloud, this one's getting close, and I think it'd be nice to get some eggs. Okay, oh, there's there's a there's a there's a friend. Okay, hanging out. It's a little one. Come on. Yes, I'm gonna be totally chicken about it. I didn't bring any weapons down here. I didn't produce any ammunition. I suppose I could set up some laser towers somehow. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Actually, that wouldn't be terrible. The reason being, um, how far are we from the nearest? Uh, could I do it with 14? I got 14 towers. Could I do that? I might be able to do that because I would kind of like to see the efficacy of the laser towers against the pentapods. I'd like to see that. So if we could have a, um, a, a laser defense of some kind. Oh, did that connect? I bet that didn't connect. Okay. All right, um... I don't think I've created really much of a blueprint. Oh, but I can't. I got the... Uh, right, I got the... Um, I took the RoboPort out. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. I'll just bring it in close. I'm, I don't want to... Oh, you can't actually build on this. Well, that's interesting. All right. I, I can't, um, without my, without my, uh, what you call it, without my robots, I can't do the little drop a tower down thing. Again, that's fine. I will lead him over here and, uh, kind of test him against the lasers, or test the lasers against him, rather. Okay, so that's 11 lasers. I'm assuming I can handle that. So, all right. All right, big guy, come on over. Okay, interesting. He goes for the lasers. Did he destroy anything? No, he didn't, but he, he just kind of he, he made a mess of it, though. 
All right. Uh, can I actually make a RoboPort? Do I have enough to make one? No, I don't. Okay. Um, so what I could do instead is not be so defensive. So let's do this. Right click, dump a shield, put a Mark II RoboPort in, and, uh, and maybe that will work. Okay. Well, that'll fix the lasers anyway. All right. I see the pentapod eggs there, but we're going to let that go for now. What does that say? It says, oh, well, son of a gun. Well, that's interesting. I, you little bitch. Okay. Well. That didn't take much. All right, well, let's, um... So, does this spawn... Does that mean that spawns a a big friend every time? Oh -ho! Okay. Um Oh, and there you are. Well, okay. Well, let's pick these bad boys up. How, how long do we have to the pentapod eggs? Okay, we've got... Um, uh, 15 minutes, basically. All right, let's do this bad boy over here. Okay, any other ones? Okay, got those. There's another batch over here. With these, we should be able to make a few of these. Okay, let's make our way back. We got 39 pentapod eggs. Yeah, that's good. Won't, won't uh, totally destroy the environment of pentapods. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pull one shield and put that in place. Alright, so that's going to fix all of those, right? Because I do have repair kits. And I will go ahead and pull it all up. Oh, I forgot about the, the remains. So let's see where we are with re respect to the uh, spore cloud. Not much going on there. We got something there. Okay, so eventually I want to clear that out. Does anybody know, are there biters at all on Gleba? I know that sounds like a stupid question. And someone say, oh, of course there aren't. You haven't seen them yet. Actually, I guess there's a way to look at that, isn't there? Can't we go to the Factoriopedia? Uh, 
Okay, space. Gleba. Okay. Does it does it doesn't say what critters there are, does it? Egg raft, small egg raft contains and I don't see anything about um Okay, well let's look at novice and see what it says. Okay, biter spawner, biter spawner. And again, with Gleba, there's none of that. The reason I ask is because uh, sometimes, you know, I watch the Factorio intros, which are great. I think that th those things have evolved great over the years. I love it. Um, the little uh, at the intro screen. Uh, and one of the things I thought one of the scenes was of Gleba and there was like a, um, a an explosion of wrigglers that ex you know that attack a, a a base and then and then biters appear as well so maybe what they did is they brought uh they brought the uh pentapod eggs to novice and then you know i don't know just curious so okay so before these dang things hatch let's see what we what we need to make these i need electronic circuits nutrients landfill so let's grab a butt ton of landfill and i think we need a lot don't we no 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 not a lot okay so not a lot of landfill but we might need a lot of nutrients five nutrients no no not a lot all right right there let's grab a couple of those and uh yeah we we do need nutrients though so let's grab a bunch Okay. And what will that buy us? That'll buy us 39. Sweet. Well, I hope the pentapod eggs don't actually hatch um, while they're being crafted because it's taking a little bit to... Ah, no, it won't take that long. Okay. So great. We've turned all of our pentapod eggs into bio chambers. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I want to use this space down here. Let's, we'll go ahead and get a radar set. We'll set it up down here. I'd like to use this. So that way we get the freshest fruit from here. What are we looking like there? Eh, fruit's not great. We pull a lot of the, the stuff out of it, so that's good. Um, we can get the freshest fruit out of here and uh, it will be fairly fresh. We can, rather than using bots, we could belt it over to here into this uh, flat space to build. We could do that. Uh, so in order to make that happen, let's see, we've got a lot of stuff in here. We've got blue belts. I went ahead and sent some blue belts down. So we're gonna get that stuff as well um we'll get some red as well uh okay and we'll even grab some more landfill we can carry some more okay we'll use what we've got and we'll make some new land. Okay, guys, with any luck, we should start to see things start to happen here on these uh, on this new improved. Well, it's improved. It's basically the same design. It's just made bigger. And we're going to see if we can make seeds and see if it does everything it's supposed to do. But what we need is some spoilage. 
and we've asked for some and we've got a lot of dying bots okay well that's interesting um let's go up north and grab some spoilage because we got to start this process with spoilage okay everybody the clock is ticking so let's see if we can make this process work and how am i going to do that by splitting that and into that and that should prime the system And this is not set up to create science, but it's set up to create seeds. And so with the system primed, we should start to see some things happening now. And it'll really start to kick off once stuff starts to spoil. When it starts to spoil, then there'll be a, enough of a catalyst. It, it, the key is getting everything kicked off. And the spoilage is a catalyst that creates the uh, that creates the nutrients that kicks everything off. But you, you have to prime it, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. Let's see if we can prime this system and make it work. And once we get all the processes, it's at first all the nutrients needs to to go into the system and uh, create all of the. Uh, the nutrients go into the system, some of it spoils, it creates spoilage, which we turn around and create more nutrients with. And then... I really want the nutrients to start to hit... the, bi the uh, bioflux process, and then the bioflux process, it'll start to hit the... Um, the nutrient, or the... Uh, the bioflux to nutrient process. And then that... should really start to kick it off. Unfortunately, the nutrients aren't going to last a long time, perhaps. Yeah, because even then, it's uh, a lot of the nutrients are just turning to garbage in the um, in this process. Let me see if I can prime this process a little bit. Okay. There's a lot of inertia that it has to overcome in order for all of this to work. So that's what's taking a little bit of time here. Making moonshine. Making Gleba moonshine. We know what we can do. Let's grab some of this bioflux and we might actually be able to start the process here. Yeah, this will create a crap ton of nutrients. So let me grab some more bioflux. That's the that's the key. And spoilage. Yeah, that's the key. Use the bioflux turn bioflux into nutrients and then that will really kick everything off. There we go. Okay. Once we get a good nutrient loop glowing, good nutrient loop going, everything should be fine. So, the way we've got this set up is that I've got the eggs and everything, the, the eggs and the science part disabled right now. But you can see I've got lasers in place for when we enable it. But I think that will be where we start to produce our Gleba science. And what is that, as far as our cloud, what does that look uh, look like? Not much of a change. Okay, so, so there we go. Uh, so now we've got the nutrient process. I'm breeding nutrient right now and um, We'll use that when next time, by next time, we should have some full-blown science going and then the science will will uh, dump into these chests and we'll be, oh, you know what? I, that's one thing I did not do. I think 
We need to make sure we have a place where science is requested and received. We'll keep this going because it's keeping the power plant going. Okay. Alright, which belt for the Gleba science? Would be this belt right here. Okay. Okay, right there. Okay, this is calling for Gleba science. Or it should be. Okay. Yeah. That's, that is the uh, that is the requester chest that will call for Gleba science when we start to make it. Wow, our nutrients got dissipated right away, didn't it? Oh, well, that helps. Let's request these. There we go. That's what was missing. There we go. Got to turn some of our... Uh, bioflux into into nutrients there all right so that's looking good okay so next i'd like to get science up and running running from gleba rather than novice but in order to do that i have to retrieve some science from both vulcanus and fulgora so i think what we'll do is we're going to send the raj to fulgora Let's check something real quick, though. I want to check the space connections. So let's go to space, and then... Okay, so the space route from Novice to Vulcanus, okay, is 1,500 kilometers. From Novice to Gleba, 1,500. Now, how about from Vulcanus to Gleba? Okay, so that's 1,500 as well. Okay, Fulgora to Gleba is 15... I'm fine, it's not 1,500, 15,000. 15,000 as well. Okay, so the connections between all of these are, are in the 15,000 kilometer range. So here's what we'll do. We're going to send... Uh, the Raj to Fulgora. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll send the Raj to Fulgora. That's been done before. Go. And then we're going to send the Mobius. Let's see, where are you at on ammunition, Mobius? You are good. Okay, we're going to send the Mobius to Volcanus. Okay, actually, okay, so we actually add, add that station. Volcanus... We'll do passenger present and item count. But we don't care. We're just going to send it right away. And this is which one? <laughs> okay, Mobius. And go. Okay, so we're going to have it pick up science from those respective locations. In the meantime, this seems to be working. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go get some eggs. We're gonna go get some more eggs. We don't need many, we just have to prime the system. So let's go to our location over here. I guess there's a place we could go here, but no, we're closer to here. So let's, let's head over to the Southwest and let's see what wonderful things wait for us there. Okay, right there, we see an egg raft. Okay, let's get all the little duties, do hickey things. Okay, grab the eggs. Ooh, we grab these two. And that might work. Dang. So we've got, ah, uh, 14. We've got 14 pentapod eggs. So with that, we should be able to kick off science. All right, uh, so let's think this through. Um, we've got plenty of um, bioflux. So we shouldn't be hurting there. We got nutrients, we got water. So the eggs, we can set them right up to multiply. And then after that,
All right. Um, let's uh, let's check on the. Okay, the Mobius has gotten here, and then let's launch a couple rockets from Vulcanus. And Mobius, okay. And let's go to Fulgora, where the Raj is. So how much space? We've got space there. So Fulgora, rockets, um, deliver cargo. Deliver cargo. And we'll probably send four rockets to each. Okay, so that's being done. So we're gonna go, okay. Dink, 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 dink. And then, okay, dink, 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 dink. So, eggs. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, oops, was that all of them? One, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, one. Okay, so that should get that started. And then science with the eggs coming in, this is, okay, we just need to tell this to request, uh, Bioflux, we got it. Basically, we're telling the requester chest to request their necessary stuff. And is that going to do it? That might do it. Okay, yeah. So we got science sciencing. So now let's go back to our locations here, not the squall. The uh, go to Fulgora. Okay, it's. Loading, I think. Why is it not loading? Oh, because... There we go. Now it's loading. And this one's already loading, so... That's almost done. Once... Okay, let's check... The Raj. Okay, it can definitely take some more. Uh, Volcanus. Let's check the Mobius. It can definitely take some more. All right, so. Volcanus. Deliver cargo. Deliver cargo. And then Fulgora. Deliver cargo. Deliver cargo. Okay, so we'll give them a few minutes. In the meantime, we've got science being produced. So let's go up here to our home. Right here. Are we Okay, 200 science is on the way. Okay. And that is happening. Okay, let's make one last check at the Mobius. Mobius has received. So, let's head, let's send this sucker to Gleba. All right, uh, Mobius is good. The Raj, it's good enough. And it too will come to Gleba. All right, this will bring all the sciences into one place. Hopefully this works out well. Oh man, look at all those extra eggs. <laughs> oh, fornicate a waterfowl. Well, that's what these are for. Is the science just not, okay, what's this missing? This is missing. Okay, no, it's, it, they're all getting everything. Okay, they're getting everything. Wow, lots of, uh... Lots of eggs with nowhere to go.
Okay, so we've got the lasers set up. <laughs> we'll have to keep an eye open if they start killing things. Maybe the eggs are produced fast, or the eggs are produced slower than the science is produced? I don't know. Don't know. All right. Oh, the squall is the only one here. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes. So let's check the Raj. The Raj has arrived. And is it going to start dumping its science? We'll go ahead and make sure it does that. Okay. So that's happening. And then what else? The Mobius needs to dump its science. Now let's take a look at the home, make sure we got enough space, because I'll tell you what, I very nearly ran out of space. I had to add a whole bunch of cargo bays on it to make things happen. Okay. Back to the Mobius. You're not dumping the rest? Okay, we'll give it some time, I suppose. Oh, looks like we got some pentapods there that are ready to be scarfed up. All right, uh... No volcanist signs? Okay, yeah, it's coming down. It's coming down. Oh. To <clears throat> Had the inserter pointed the wrong way. I do that from time to time. Okay. Efficiency module almost done. Captivity is the next one in play. Yes! All the sciences that we have available are currently going through the system. This is beautiful. This is a thing of beauty. Okay. And for the time being, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Why is it? What is it with these eggs? Okay, I'll do this if I have to. Will that work? Yeah, but there's still eggs in there. Uh, that's not good. Okay, now I've got eggs in my inventory. That's not cool. Okay, no, I guess that's the best way to do it. Is just leave the belt as it is. Okay. Just the eggs are collecting there. I don't really like that. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and add another laser. Okay. So, I think we've got it sort of set up now. Now, there's a little bit of a disparity between uh, the Mountain Dew Science. The Mountain Dew Science, seem, the bio labs for Mountain Dew Science seem to be experiencing a lot of idle time and it's because they produce once every let's see they first of all let's verify something here um so it only requires one pentapod egg so this consumes this group right here consumes four pentapod eggs at a maximum of or a, a maximum rate of uh four every four seconds because it takes about four seconds for that process to happen, I think is what it said. Is that what it said? One, two, three. I don't know, it seems kind of fast. But if I go to, if I go to here, it says it processes four seconds. Okay. Now granted, there's a bit of a production bonus here, but let's say four science every four seconds. So one per second. Now these, Pentapod eggs are being produced at a rate. There's it's about 15 seconds for the process to happen. That seems to be going faster than 15 seconds. Oh, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Yeah, that seems to be going faster than 15 seconds. But it's what it says. Maybe these are just, I don't know, uh, production time bonus. Maybe it's uh, more production. Uh, well, whatever. These should be able to produce the eggs faster than these can uh, can produce. These should be able to consume the eggs faster than these can produce them. That's the way I see it. But for some reason, when we split 
you know, this pr technically this produces two eggs. Okay, so it produces eight eggs every 15 seconds, but four of those eggs get shunted over here, and four of them stay here to help with the production. And for some reason, it doesn't, it seems like there's, they're collecting here, and they're being consumed pretty quickly here. It almost makes me want to reroute some of these over here, but that it doesn't seem like that would be a lasting solution the way I see it. Because these always need extra eggs. But wow, do these... I don't know. But eggs would be collecting over here, would they not? But they're not. Oh. I'll have to think that one through. The the math is, is messing with my head right now because it doesn't seem to jive. Um, okay. You know what I could do? I could try to circle this around like that. What if I do that? What if I take this laser away? There's plenty of lasers here. Um... And do this. Okay, let's put a nutrient. Uh, how am I going to do this? I need to reroute the belt. I like to go from here to here. And then right to here. So the eggs don't stagnate. You know what I'm saying? Um. Oh yeah. Well, why, why did I do that? Okay. So it would come around here and then right back onto the belt. Okay. But I would need to do that. Remove this. Remove that. Put this here. Put... I'm sorry. Put that there. And put this here. Like that. Okay, and then now there's room... For that to happen. Okay. Yes, no, maybe so. And that should keep the science going for a little while, I would think. I think that could work. Possibly. I'll keep an eye on it. It might... It might work, it might not. Yeah, it seems like it's working. All right, so we'll remove this laser. We've already got a laser there. Okay, remove that, remove this, remove that, remove that, and, or, and then place that. Okay, so with that, um, yeah, now I gotta remove a couple lasers. Okay, grab some landfill, put, put it like that. Not going to do me any good if those eggs turn into wigglers and they all get shot by lasers. I don't want that, if I can avoid it. Alright, uh, but I will put new lasers in place. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, power sucking! Oh, uh, we. Dude, did I not? Ah, uh, fudgical. 
Okay, that explains so much. I didn't connect this up. Right? Um... Okay, there we go. Woo! Yeah, that, sh that brought the temperature down like hell. Do I have any rocket fuel? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Duh. Right there. Okay, there we go. At least put one rocket fuel in there. That'll kind of help things out. Well, stupid mistakes. So anyway, yeah, that seems to be working. Now all the science is... If we can get some more eggs going. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just gonna be weird. Um... The way the science is working. Okay. I, I gotta do the math in my head to see how that works. But anyway, yeah, I think we've got some... I think we've got Gleba science more or less chugging away. We could do better. But it's a start. Oh... Yeah. Okay, well, this was where... This was where the biter bases were. Or not the biter bases, but the... um. What do you call those things? Uh, the stompers. This is this is where the pinnipods were, <laughs> and wow, looks like um, looks like we got that cleared out right in the nick of time. So yeah, nice. All right. Well, I think that's going to conclude this session. Like I said, I think I warned everybody this should cover. It should have covered probably two or three videos because it's I recorded for like two plus hours now. And I don't think I can cram it all into one without it being ridiculously long. So, anyway, hopefully you found this, again, educational as you did entertaining. Or hopefully you found it more entertaining than you did educational. Either way. I'm, and again, any I invite comments and backseating and kibitzing and whatever. I invite that. So, I appreciate your comments. Anyway, y'all have a nice day and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.